hello and welcome back to another build video. Thank you so much once again for all the support, it means a lot to me. We are pushing for 500 subscribers, so please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, and let's go! This is my updated Hydra God build for Chaos 50. And we are still using Greyborn and Spellshot as the two classes, and we are using Reaper of Bones as the action skill. And this action skill makes us go to full health, we gain increased dark magic efficiency and we deal bonus dark magic damage, but our health is taking an ever increasing amount of damage per second. When we are about to die, we instead become invulnerable for 3 seconds and we also restore a portion of our health. And this action skill's duration is based on the current health percentage, which means that the fuller our health bar is, the longer we stay in the Reaper of Bones action skill. And since we only deal dark magic damage in this build, and we also have some dark magic efficiency, we are gonna be able to have this action skill up as long as we can do damage. So for the Greyborn skill tree we want to start out with Essence Drain, and we want to put 3 points in here, and this is a kill skill so we reduce our spell cooldown rate by 15%. We also want to put the 3 points into Fateful Thralls, and this will increase our damage dealt for every companion we have. And 3 points is max, but with the armor we have we are able to get plus 3 and therefore end up with 6 out of 3, and that means our damage dealt per companion is 18%. We want to max out Dark Pact, and this will increase our Dark Magic damage by 20%. We also want to max out Stain of the Soul, and this makes our spells deal bonus Dark Magic damage by 25%. We want to max out Dark Hydra, and this is another kill skill, and this is a chance to summon a Dark Hydra companion that deals Dark Magic ability damage to nearby enemies. And the max here is uh, 3, but with the armor we are using we are able to get plus 2 and therefore end up with 5 max Dark Hydras. We want to max out Ascension, and this is a kill skill where maximum health and spell damage is increased for a long duration. And this effect can stack, and at max stacks, which is 10, you're gonna have 60% increased maximum health and spell damage. We want to max out Blast Gasp, and this is whenever we deal spell damage there is a chance we will create a elemental explosion, dealing ability damage of the spell's elemental type. This is a 20% chance and it's 35% of the spell damage dealt as ability damage. Last but not least, we want to have Moran's Blessing, and this is whenever we cast a spell we automatically activate all of our kill skills. For the Spellshot skill tree we want to start out with Spell Sniper, and this increases our spell critical hit chance by 60%. We want to put 3 points into Prestidigation, and this increases our reload speed by 24%. And we want to max out Font of Mana, and this will increase our spell cooldown rate by 20% and action skill cooldown rate by 15%. We want to put a point into Mage Armor, and this makes us restore 10% of our ward every time we get a spell weaving stack. We also want to put 1 point into glass cannon, and this increases our spell damage by 30%, but we are not able to automatically recharge our shield, but since we have mage armor and so consistently getting spell weaving stacks, we're gonna have our shield coming up all the time anyway. And we want to put 1 point into high thread count, and this will increase our max spell weaving stacks by 3. For the hero points I maxed out strength, and this will increase our critical hit damage. I also maxed out attunement, and this increases our skill cooldown. The rest of the points is uh, personal preference, but I put them into intelligence to get some spell cooldown. Now, let's take a look at the gear. The main weapons we are using for this build is Fear Not Furiors, and specifically the crossbow style ones. And the reason for this is because they scale with spell damage, and since we are Greyborn and spell shot, we have a lot of spell damage. And this specific fear knot is creating a multi-headed hydra companion. And if you're lucky you can get this in times 2, but then it will also consume 2 ammo per shot instead. You can also get this with melee crossbolts, but this is the preferred one. And the enchantment we have here is after reloading, gain 50% companion critical hit chance and companions regenerate 8% of their maximum health per second for 5 seconds. And this specific enchant is not going to help our Fear Not guns, since they get spell critical hit chance and not companion critical hit chance, but this will help our Demilich and it will also help our Dark Hydras. For the second weapon we have equipped is another Fear Not, 
but this one creates a pixie companion instead of the hydra companion. These can also roll with times 2 and also the melee crossbolt. For the enchantment we are using on spell cast increase dark magic damage by 30% for 5 seconds. The two last weapon slots I would say are completely personal preferences because it's very rare that we are going to use them. But I picked a gluttony of the carver and this is to help destroy quartz and uh, dark lord statues because sometimes the companions don't target them. So this specific weapon is going to be very helpful in that regard. For the last gun we are using a scamp of mania. And this gun is nothing special, I just like it in general and that's why I have it equipped. For the melee weapon we are using a snake stick and the snake stick's melee attacks spawn a hydra companion that will deal melee damage for 6 seconds. And on this one we have amped, so our melee attacks amplify the damage of our next 3 gunshots. And this is not helpful to our build since we are not shooting our guns, so uh, the best in this case would be echo. And the enchantment we have here is, while action skill is active, increase companion damage by 50%. For the armor, which is the most important part for this build, is still going to be a Scarlet Claw. We have a little upgrade here, with uh, Greyborn power and Spore Warden power. And we also have uh, plus 2 into Dark Hydras and plus 3 into Fateful Thralls. We have all damage dealt, we have spell damage, and we have companion damage. So this is a really, really good armor. For the shield we are still using a master rune and this increases our companion damage by 25%. And the enchantment we have here is on action skill start increase spell damage by 40% for 10 seconds. The first ring we have equipped is a championship ring and uh, dealing damage to a boss increases the effects by 50% for a moderate amount of time. Spell damage, we have dark magic efficiency, we have companion critical hit damage and we also have assault rifle reload speed. And that one is not benefit this build at all, so I would prefer to have something different there, but it's really hard to get guard rolls, and this is also an ascended one, so it was hard to pass on this, even with the assault rifle roll. The second ring we have equipped is actually a purple ring, and it's because of the rolls on this one. And this is also ascended. We have companion damage, we have spell critical hit damage, we have spell radius, and we have spell critical hit chance. For the necklace we are using a third of heroism, and this is whenever we cast a spell, reduces remaining action skill cooldown by 20%, and while our action skill is on cooldown, our spell damage is increased by 30%. We have dark magic damage, we have greyborn power, and we also have a double roll of all damage dealt. For the spell we are still using a devouring hydra, and this is a times 2, and we have 2 spell charges. We summon a hydra companion, that will spawn another hydra companion, whenever an enemy damaged by it is killed, and it also has a small chance to spawn an additional Hydra when damaging a boss. And the enchantment we have here is, while action skill is active, increase dark magic damage by 50%. And this specific Hydra spell is a personal preference. There are so many different Hydra spells, come in different variations and with different parts, so it's just a matter of finding what you like and what is effective. Now. Let's take a look at some boss melting. 